Graduating as a doctor in 2003, Sam Hazeldean quickly saw many of his colleagues becoming disillusioned and leaving the profession. In an attempt to better cater to a new generation of doctors who wanted to create a lifestyle in medicine, he founded MedRecruit, a medical starting agency that now boasts 45,000 doctors using its services. We have the largest network of hospitals and practices throughout Australasia. So, you know, if, if you come to us, we can say to a doctor, well, here are three options that are going to be really good for you, and here's what we think is the best one, um, because you know, it meets all your needs and you make the most money. So we're like the Tinder for, tinder for doctors. Setting the example for the lifestyle he promoted, Hazel Dean could see more gaps in the profession and went on to found another arm of the company, Med Capital, a wealth management service for medical professionals. With Med Capital, it's really exciting because never have I been in a business where every single one of your target market actually needs you. Um, you know, we haven't, I'm yet to meet a doctor who's really doing a good job managing their money, and so it's pretty exciting to have a business whereby we can positively impact every doctor you know, in the geography that we target. Not content to try and positively affect Australasian medical professionals, Hazel Dean began to question the Hippocratic Oath that all doctors take when he realised it was missing any inclusion of doctors looking after their own health and well-being. I, at that point, started a petition and we got doctors to lend their, name, their support to a change in the Declaration of Geneva. Um, I presented that and I presented my research to the World Medical Association and they invited me last year to speak at their annual General Assembly. At that point they approved a draft change to the declaration and then that went to public consultation this year and then just, uh, just over a week ago in Chicago it was passed unanimously um, to include the health and well-being of the doctor in the declaration of Geneva. A key source of support and mentorship has come in the form of various self-improvement regimens on which Hazel Dean admits to having spent more than $350,000. I find similar people in business and, and I would seek out the best people I possibly could. And you know, if you look at it, it it's the cheapest way of, of, of gaining experience. The most expensive way of getting experience is doing it yourself. I really truly believe that, that the biggest compounding investment you're ever going to get is when you invest in yourself.